Hello guys and welcome to a kind of video you haven't seen in a while on my channel Not really a while, a couple of days I guess you could say um, And obviously that's because you have my Pokemon Let's Play videos and also my guide videos coming out uh, Which I hope you're enjoying, you can leave some comments about those below if you want to Anyway, uh, this video is about the shiny Pokemon It would seem somehow, somehow in Generation 6 there is an increased chance of encountering a shiny um, Or something along those lines could be an increased chance, it could be something, you know, once you've obtained so many Pokemon in the Pokedex, you get a higher chance of finding a shiny. Something along those lines, it could possibly be that, who knows. Anyway, just I'm just going to go through briefly all the uh, shinies for Generation 6 Pokemon that have been discovered already. Um, just sort of showing you the design and, you know, see if you guys like them. So first up we have a shiny bundle we here, which we saw a couple days ago actually. And the only changes here are, you know, the uh, the brown, brown bits on its ears change to white bits, and it has some sort of blood red eye colour, which is uh, really quite creepy. Uh, and next up we have a shiny frog here. We saw a shiny froakie the other day, and this one you can see has a lighter body and a darker blue head, hands and feet I believe. Um, apart from that, not much of a change. And we also have a shiny Greninja we saw a couple of days as well. Um, which is black body, red tongue, and blue highlights, which is also pretty damn cool. Next up, we have a shiny fur through here, which you can see is now a black color instead of a white color, possibly a reference to Generation 5 games, you know, black and white, who knows, but it does look pretty cool nonetheless. I'd like to see that one get trimmed and such. Then we have a shiny skiddo, which you can see has golden horns, sort of dull gold uh, leaves and such, and then a sort of pearly white body, cream white body color. Uh, and then also after that we have a shiny Hone Edge here, which seems to have a red blade uh, with a sort of a silvery handle there. And then after that we have, you know, like a, a red coloured sash as well, where red and purple. Uh, and then when it evolves into Dublade, we have uh, two red blades obviously, um, we have a silver handle again and gold highlights. And then the sash this time has turned into purple with gold highlight on the end. Finally we have both of uh, Yeedy Slash's shiny forms. You can see here that the blade is now black with a, a red outline and then a golden purple sash and a sort of a duller grey handle this time around. They all look pretty cool. Next up after the Hone Edge and such like that we have a shiny Vivillon. We actually have several pictures of these because obviously there are different forms for Vivillon which are, which are like depending on where you are in the world. Um, and you can see the only change for a shiny Vivillon is the fact that you know the, the uh, sort of actual body of it has changed from black to white. The uh, you know the wings stay the same because obviously that depends on where you live in the world. And we have its pre-evolution here, a shiny Scatterbug, which just seems to be pure white, much like you know shiny Vivillon. Then we have a shiny Fennekin here, which seems to be a, a silvery grey colour with a red ear mark, red ear fire, I guess you could say. Um, so that's kind of different to what we saw the, like the, uh, the fake image ages ago, which is actually a purple coloured. But uh, then we have a shiny Brakeson, which is which is purple coloured or a purple grey colour with the d dark red flame ears yet again. Haven't got an image of a shiny, um, what's the last one, Delphox yet, but we'll help, I'll bring it to you as soon as I can find one. Then we have a shiny Inkei here, which seems to have a sort of pinky purple head thing and then a golden tentacles below. So uh, a bit of a change, not too much though. Then we have a shiny Fletchling, which seems to have the only change there being sort of a duller body colour with a yellow um, wing highlight and maybe the tail is now changed as well i can't be too sure though uh we also have a shiny mega lucario that's been revealed um obviously it's not actually a generation 6 pokemon but it does look pretty cool you can see here the uh the sort of head and the body are now a golden color with the red uh, red the, the hands and the feet being red and the main body being a purpley blue color which looks pretty cool after that we have um what's the next oh yeah shiny carbink which is now turned into a black and blue sort of crystal thing as we know it is based on sort of that, so that looks pretty cool. And then we have a shiny Pancham, which is now a brownie colour rather than the black colour, with the lower body being sort of a grey-brown colour. After that we have a shiny Horlucha, which seems to have sort of a red and black body, with purple wings and head, and then a green highlight on top of its head with golden boots. For that, that is a bit sort of messed up on the shiny sort of colouring front, so I don't like, like that quite as much. But, you know, it does look pretty cool anyway. Next up we have probably the... This is the best uh, shiny I've seen so far, which is a shiny Tyrant, which instead of being a brown colour, uh, is now a brown, brown grey colour thing, is now a blue, a bright blue colour, almost bright blue, and, um, not, not totally bright blue, but a sea blue, let's say. Um, uh, looks awesome, and blue and grey, and then we also have a shiny Tyrantrum here, and you can see, you know, it's again a blue colour with grey highlights and claws, and then a white sort of mane or collar, which looks pretty damn awesome. Then, 
Next up we have a shiny Esper which has turned to a pink colour rather than a grey colour, but now its eyes have turned to a dark purple which look really creepy compared to, you know, uh, the normal Esper. Well, normal Esper is creepy anyway, but yeah. Then we have a shiny Litleo, whereas the main body instead of being black is a sort of an orange creamy colour which looks it looks pretty cool. Alexia shiny Pyrol though. Uh, then we have a shiny Spritzy which seems to be um, what is a purple coloured body instead of the pink with red feet. After that we have a shiny Auroras, no shiny Amora, so um, but look, uh, looking at shiny Auroras we seem to have a white body here with a blue underside, the sort of the main things, as the only way I can describe them, is uh, like a bright light yellow with a, a grey outline highlight, and you can see the light blue jewels over it, so it looks very much like an ice type Pokemon, would you, as you would expect. Then we have, what's next? Aha, that's it. We have a shiny Sligu here, you can see it's a sort of a yellow coloured, yellow orange coloured body with a pinky red underside. No shot of a shiny Gumi however, so the person obviously just forgot to take it before they evolved it. Then we have a shiny chest bin, and instead of the head area being a green colour, it's now a dark red colour. And we also have sort of the, the main body has got a bit black, uh, blacker or browner and darker. And it has a yellow nose with a yellow tail or a golden tail and nose. They look uh, very similar. Uh, and then uh, finally, I think, actually that's it, yeah, that's it. Nothing much, nothing much else happening there. Um, I shall bring you some more shiny Pokemon videos if you guys want them, of course. So just leave your thoughts down below. Will you want to see me cover some more shiny Pokemon? Because obviously the, the only way you're actually going to see it uh, is on Imga or Reddit or something like that. And obviously if you don't follow those mediums, you won't be able to see the images anywhere else. So yeah, just let me know if you'd like me to cover some more whenever they get revealed. And of course, you know, you guys can uh, stay tuned by subscribing. You can also leave a like and a comment on this video just to show your support. Helps me out a bit and, you know, drives me to make more videos. Anyway, guys, I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.